like, hey, let's bring in the fellows. Let's bring in the fellows. Let's bring in the fellows. This is just a special time to be a part of the Brown and Dumb Show, ladies and gentlemen, because you've got Joey D coming in the top left corner there. And of course, you have got Mikey V. Fellas, let's clap it up for the faithful out there. Let's clap it up for, for us out there. This is a brilliant, brilliant time. And of course, Mikey V coming in with a little have a day uh, there, too. Perez look- sent me, Perez sent me a, a cover for my driver, the new Perez line of uh, of uh, club covers, and it is sure. spectacular. And mm-hmm. what was sitting on top of it, what a marketing ploy this is. I got to tell you that. Very Perez nice had- done, boys. Nice touch. I want a little bit of what Perez has in the sense of, Perez is very heady when it comes to doing stuff like that, like mm-hmm. little little gifts, sending things to people the right way, and kind of like the smigsy thing with bringing over a bottle of wine. If you have somebody there, a guest comes on the show, you send them a have a day hat. I don't have that in me, and I want that in me. Well, you have a nice shirt on, though. I like that shirt. Oh, forest green. Well, yeah, yeah. It is I a mean, great. Uh, it is a great color. I mean, Packers aside, that's what that's what kills me about the Masters. That's the only thing is like for me to rock those colors. It's so against my like inner nature to do so because uh, they're so fair. similar to Packers colors. Yeah, it really, it really okay. is a torturous life. To I'm live. comfortable with those colors. Do you believe, I know you're very comfortable, as you should be. Do you believe that? Aaron Rodgers is not a Jet yet. Have you ever seen something like this? It's coming. It's coming. Ever? It's coming. Is it though? It's, yeah, you know so what else I'll, was going to be coming? Mikey V was hoping. With I'll all due respect to you, Odell Mikey Beckham. Schechter. Yeah, I know. No, no. What was going to happen was Odell wait, Beckham wait, was supposed to be a Jet as well, and I, I believed you on that. Well, here's and what that happened. Didn't I didn't know the Jets changed to purple and black as their main color. Do you believe this guy? He told me that that was a done deal. It is. It was a done deal. What do you mean it is a done deal? It's a done deal, but it's not going to the Jets. The Ravens gave Odell Beckham. A ludicrous contract. Agreed. Fifteen million guaranteed. The Jets did the right thing, Bob. You can't do that. They were outbid, and you know what? The Ravens. There's so much uncertainty there with Lamar. Forget about that. But I'll tell you this: this past Friday, Boomer uh, Boomer Esiason did his radio show live Friday night at some place in Jersey City instead of doing it on the radio. And they had the Jets GM there. Okay, Joe Douglas was there on stage. Everybody was bombed. Okay, getting fucked up. And they directly asked Joe Douglas, why is Aaron Rodgers not here yet? And he said, don't worry, he's coming. Now, for an NFL GM to outright say that, it's it's a matter of just semantics yeah, at this point. Aaron Rodgers will be a jet. You know what, man? Nothing could be down. Nothing could be normal. Nothing could be normal with, with this franchise no, and no. as well as Aaron Rodgers. It's always got to be a big thing. Now, look. When he's in the shoulder pads, that'll be a great day. That'll be a great oh, yeah. day. Oh, but yeah. you buy a jersey, Bob? I'm not a jersey guy anymore, Joey Day. You I'm, can't I'm, be because these guys, they you buy a jersey, it's worthless in two years. They leave the team. Well, you want to buy a Anthony I like a legacy Boy. player buy. If you buy a legacy yeah. player, like a guy who's retired, retired with your team, you know you can't go wrong. Like, there's no chance he could screw you. How many jerseys do you have, Mikey V? Oh, I have a lot. I have a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's, but he's I like got to tell you, though. He's like but I got to tell you, though. I have, a like, different I have one for every day. He's, he's got foam fingers in his closet, too. <laughs> carpets. Carpets. You open up, it's like wardrobe. He's got all the bobbleheads. <laughs> Oh, I, I was never a bobble, never a bobblehead guy, but obviously you see one right in the corner. But that's a legacy player. Jim McMahon won a Super Bowl, autographed the jersey for me. Great yeah. guy, you know. Interact with him multiple times. Great guy. Erlacher, uh, 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 Butkus jerseys. That's a little bit Dicka jersey. That's a little bit different. Mike Singletary. Right, legacy right, players. Right, legacy right. players. We get, we get, no, I'm just get, saying. We, I'm we, we, how many right, jerseys? Moving on. How many football jerseys in your lifetime have you owned? Football jerseys? No, Bob. Oh, Bob. I had a phase in in middle school where I went two years straight of middle school wearing nothing but football jerseys. It was either Miami Hurricane. Yeah, yeah, dead serious. I'm sorry. If you look at the yearbook at Randolph Middle School, 2005, (laughs) 6, you will see me wearing. An Ed Reed and a Ray Lewis Miami Hurricanes jersey. Oh, yeah, but that's month. those. Yeah, but see again, college jerseys, jerseys are good purchases also because They're the player there. went there. That's never going to change. Yeah, college jersey is a great purchase. It yeah. is. It's a great purchase. What was Randolph's mascot? That, uh, it was the uh, Randolph Rams, where the high school was our. our, our, our <laughs> yeah, we were the Randolph Rams. I can see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special time, man. Now, very, 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 very
No, that was a place called Morris Catholic High School. We were uh, the janitors during the summer. and uh, That's one of the was, best videos ever. Yeah, it's a great Morris video. Catholic. We used to play Morris Catholic in basketball. I remember it very I well. Used to, uh, I used to wear a cross just so that I could get the job when I first initially started. <laughs> <laughs> so what a traitor. If, what if a you, fraud. Yeah, that's serious. It paid good. It paid really good. Yeah, if you watch a... that video, I'm wearing a cross and I'm a Jew. When when I went to my grandpa's house, I forgot to take the cross off. He was beside himself. Yeah, he really I mean, was. That's, he didn't like, know. That, that's like when Karen brings Henry Hill home to to his to her yes. mother, and he's she's he, she has to hide his cross behind the shirt. She goes, "Hide that cross, my mother will flip." Yeah, <laughs> because my daughter tells me you're half Jewish. Just the good, just the good half. <laughs> Stop. The good half. It's really tough. You know, but Mikey, can I tell you? Can I tell you what Joey D? did to me this weekend okay yeah, and nice. it's just it really it really it it didn't i want to say it didn't arc me because it's he does this type of stuff and i've seen him do it before mm. joey d's gambling etiquette might be some of the worst gambling etiquette you are ever gonna find joe didn't we have this conversation like a year ago a year and a half ago on the pod about gambling etiquette how important it is What'd now What's what's fun with Joe is when you have a bet in with him, or even if oh, he doesn't have your bet, he he really fun. roots for yes. your bet. He yes. really pulls for you. He makes it a lot of fun. Yes, but yes, I, he does. I got I got fucking banged on UFC the other day. Okay, oh. shout out my dad who I know is listening. He gave me every single. We couldn't win a fight. It, we, why, we why, I tell you why a lot of people got banged on UFC. The judges oh, were atrocious. I get the, the judges, judges were, were terrible. Was they, atrocious. Was they, I, I, the only fight I won, I should not have won. It was amazing to me that I that I won the fight. But I tell Joe, I said, man, I text him. I said, I just got banged so bad on UFC. I said, I'm the worst gambler on the planet. I stink throwing money down the drain. He responds, oh, no. And then sends a slip of his UFC parlay that just hit to know that I got banged. <laughs> and, and then to send that screenshot right after. I mean, Mikey, have you not seen Joey D pull these type of stunts, especially when it comes Why to gamblers out of Kansas? Now, this is going to pit me against Joe. This is what you do. I see what you're no, doing. No, that's not yeah, fair. I but I'm asking, doing now. But I'm asking But Joe you. knows he's smirking down there. I could see him smirking. I he's the worst. He's lining up from a mile away, Mikey. This is what he does. He's the worst. He's, he's the worst. He's, 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 he's the worst. I'm going to come at Mikey for a whole other reason right now. Why? Sure. Get it all. That Brooks kept up this weekend. I couldn't. Okay. I okay. Hold on. That is a little disrespectful. Okay. You're, You're right. right. The only man in America. You're right, for Joey D. It is a little disrespectful. Out of my guy. Day. Well, hold on. Hold on. There's a good goddamn reason why I was rooting for Brooks Kepka. <laughs> hold on a minute. I gave out my only subs masters picks. Kepka came off the big win in the live tournament. Won four million. He was one of the hotter golfers. He's a hundred percent healthy now. And was Brooks Kepka, and he was my pick to win the tournament, plus 4,000 I had this guy. Joe, if I would have won, if he would have won that tournament, I would have won thousands of dollars yesterday. I get it, Mikey V, but he's not a guy you want to root for. Well, but Joe, I mean, the pick is the pick is the pick. I don't want to root for the fucking Kansas City Chiefs either, but I bet them in the fucking Super Bowl. Well, with that I, didn't, like I, I don't want to root for them. That's like betting. The, that's like betting the Russian guy against Rocky in Rocky Four. I tell you what, Drago very, probably would have been a sharp very player. Like betting very, Ivan Drago. Nobody very, else is betting for that. Very, I tell you what, it did Brooks not? Was Brooks not okay this weekend? And I'm not of talking about he was his okay. Play. He just won I a thought, million something dollars. He was back in. I the I thought he was again. a gentleman. I thought he said all the right things at the press conferences. <laughs> I think that if you rewind the clock, he would have stayed with PGA. Some of the comments he I was agree. making. But so, who's, uh, you know what? Whose fault is that? I mean, come it's on. His, he but he what wasn't he was healthy. Doing. Yeah, but Bob, you know what? Tough when you're staring down the barrel of 100 million guaranteed to sign a contract. I, I, all I'm saying is that what you saw from the live guys over the weekend, Bruce, uh, Brooks Kepka, and and Old Phil. You got to give Old Phil a lot of credit. I mean, Mickelson, on... Mickelson and Spieth yesterday that, were incredible. That, the fact they were incredible. that. Phil Mickelson, I mean, me and Joe kept looking at the leaderboard. We kept saying, the fact that Phil Mickelson snuck his way yep. into second, second was yeah. amazing, man. He, he birdied like every hole yesterday. You know, you know the, the, seven under. the sad thing with, with, with Mickelson is that he was always such a likable guy. I mean, everybody loved Phil and would be pulling for him. If you watch him now, 
he just kind of looks defeated. He doesn't, you could tell that this was, this whole experience was so taxing on him, right or wrong. And he's like lost the, like everybody loving him. He was all smiles at the end of that round. We should have filmed it. He made that final birdie putt and he went up to his caddy and like tapped him on the back and was all smart. Like we were like, this guy's hit his fucking. I mean, you know what? You know what? He, 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 good for him. Good for him. I mean, he comes back after being the fucking, the bad guy basically and comes tied for second. And by the way, not only that, live had three golfers in the top five. Yeah. That's on. Uh, the only thing that I wonder though, that I was saying to you yesterday, Joe, it's like, don't get me wrong. Definitely a, a, a win for live, but is that going to make people now all of a sudden tune in to live? Like, I don't think it's going to, it's a win for them, but at I the don't same think time, so. it's not going to translate. So. It does, but it does show like a lot of people are like, you know, live that, that, that it's not great golf and stuff. They can now say, listen, we came out, we played a tournament one of the most, you know, highly anticipated tournaments of the year for the PGA, everyone and anybody who is a, a, somebody. It really, it really is the best. And they had it three really out of the, the top five golfers. Patrick Reed was in that mix. Mikey, Patrick were you, were you, talk to me about that Easter dinner. Were you able to lock into, it seemed like you were pretty locked into the Masters. Yeah, I had, had the, the uh, I had the phone, I had the phone, the Masters app, by the way. I appreciate the, uh, the recommendation on that. I just yeah. had it streaming on the, I mean, the it's ultra 4K oh, the fruit entire fruit. time. Oh, but I will say this though, they, in the morning, it was baffling Sunday morning because they weren't following Rom and Kepka in the morning, Damn which it. is a little weird uh, as it. to why they were following, uh, I don't know if they were following Cantley and uh, and um, I forget who else, but they were not following Ram and Kepka in the morning. And I, and everyone was like, "Oh, well, my friends were like, what the fuck are they doing? And then the Golf Channel's coverage was really that, bad at times, too. They're oh. just guys are golfing and they're in this they're in like that grand foyer in the clubhouse. And you're seeing these interviews with guys. And listen, I appreciate history as much as the next guy, but. Let's watch the guys who are actually playing on the course. That's what's interesting. I think to me, there's but... a situation with the rights they couldn't get. Yeah, yeah. The, the footage, yeah. but that was tough. Yeah. Got was. Aside from the Masters on the PGA Golf on on on, on the Golf Channel, and yeah. they go there and it's like Mike Trebico talking with two guys who are like fucking ancient, and and it's yeah. like, I, listen, I I can handle ten minutes of this, but at least pan back and forth. To a shot every once in a while. It was it was tough. CBS did a good job starting Sunday morning because they had it right from right well, from they got the tea time. Saturday, Mikey. I know they it was horrible. On air for fifteen. I get to I get to my in laws Saturday and I'm like, you know what? At least today I could just park it and watch Ram and Kepka go back and forth. And of course they get, they get whacked with that rain delay and I'm like, this is unbelievable because the <laughs> weather weather in Jersey was beautiful on Saturday. I was I was furious. Furious. Yeah. The advantage you had, Mikey V, when they did the the weather, that sucked, by the way. Saturday, you're gearing up for a full couch oh. day, and all of a sudden, it just gets ripped right from that. Yep. That's tough. And I will say, East Coast did not have to wake up nearly as early as the West Coast did to get the time. We had to pretty much wake up at 6 a.m. just to get yep. that. So, tip of the cap. Five, some of the goals. Yeah, East Coast wins that one. Look, it's rare, but 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 you got to give. I mean, that, I that was big. Times. Mikey V and Jersey Jerry. Mikey V and the Don no. for a six. Eight. I, By the I way, I gotta know how was it, Mikey V? How did you play? I played poorly. I mean, I played <laughs> poorly. I, I mean, listen, I uh, short game was good. Uh, we did a little chip and putt competi- competition, chip a little chip competition at the end, closest to the pin, and I great. actually took I actually took that down between me, Don, gas, and 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 all four of us. I, you I know what? Ah! yeah. So chip and short game, no problem. But I gotta tell you, I I. I hadn't, I hadn't swung in two weeks, and it was very, very evident. I Does, could um, not get it going off the tee. I could not. You it know was, what I like that you guys did was just the nine holes. Because if you're with Jerry Don, Jerry Don don't want to play 18. Well, he wanted, he did, Bob. Did he, he wanted to play 18. Because usually I, Jerry, I would think, would want a nine holes, and then that's good enough for him no, to, to want to get out we, of there. In fact, we all wanted to do 18, which they, they would have done for us. But they had two. So my brother is the head groundskeeper at that course. He got us on that course first thing in the morning before anybody. And that's why we were there so early because, you know, he, he got us on. We didn't, you know, it's a semi-private, but we didn't private have to spot. pay nothing. Um, but he was like, you guys could play 18 if you want, as long as there's not like a big uh, group behind you. There was 200 people booked for golf on Friday because I guess Good Friday too, a ton of people were off work. So it was booked. He was like, listen, guys, I can't get you through for another nine. But 
It was great though. I it really was as 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 difficult as it was, as frustrating it was at times. It was it was real. The weather was beautiful. Sun was coming up. You know, teeing off. It was really, really, really something else. It really I was. Had- I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I, I would imagine I'll enjoy it a little bit more when I become a little more serviceable at the game. But right now, it's a, it's a major work. Was, was he good to play with? Good. Yeah, he kept up pace well. I mean, Dick, Dickie and Fu are, you know, they're 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 good. Like, they're, they're you know. Yeah, look, they're, they're I mean, good. not everybody gets to experience, whether it's nine holes, 18 holes with Jerry Don. That's a luxury, man. That, I think that me is... and Jerry in the cart together was really – me and Terrific. Jerry in the cart together was Terrific. Terrific. Yeah, some of that on film that would have been gold. We went yeah, live I, a couple I, I times. Did, but I gotta I, tell you, we were kind of like so in the moment. I think it was like a little like I don't know. Okay, all right, fair uh-huh. enough, fair yeah. enough. All right, fellas, let's go ahead. Um, let's get into our buy or sell segment. Um, of the week. What did you see of the week that you liked? What did you see of the week that you did not like? Um, we can go ahead and who wants to start here? Any any takers? Yeah, I'll start. Sure, Mikey. I'm going to sell, uh, I'm going to sell, we talked about it before, it's myself for the week. I'm selling the UFC judges. This is not the first time what happened Saturday has happened in the past. I've been on the good end of it gambling. This weekend, I was on the bad end you of it. You me both, Michael. There is no rhyme or reason to these decisions by these judges. None. These three round fights, this underdog female, I forget her last name. Waterman Gomez. I- yeah, she clearly won that fucking fight, man. Like, she clearly won that no, fight. And I'm- again, I've been on the opposite side where it's to my benefit. And of course I take it and run with it and say, oh no, it was the right decision. When I know really it wasn't. I don't know where they get these judges. I don't know what the what the the uh the the prerequisites to become a UFC judge are or if there's any kind of consistency with that. They they're too big of a company, they're too major of a company now, too legitimate of a sport now, mainstream to have an issue like this. It's no good. It's not good for the sport. Everybody and their mother complains about it. Twitter went fucking crazy Saturday night complaining about the judges. And like I said, this is not an isolated incident. This is not an outlier. This is becoming the common theme for how these split decision fights are are getting called. And it it, it just cannot happen because it's going to happen with a major fight eventually, like a championship level fight. It's going to be a fucking problem. So UFC has got to get that fixed. Get it ironed out. Do something. Fix it. The judges you know, are bad. The bad only player. um the only thing that I think, and I agree, yeah, I, I, the only thing I really don't like with the UFC is is when it comes to these scorecards, when it comes to decision, you never really know. And I think there's other rules in it. And like I get like takedowns or strikes landed, like stuff like that. That's fine. I know there's some stuff that goes into it, but you usually should have some sort of an idea of where the fight's going to be or who's going to win. And I really, when it comes to the decision time, you don't know who's going to win. You don't know. The other day, don't know. whoever I had, I can promise you the other person was going to win. Just an absolute bloodbath. Good sell there, Mikey V. Um, I'm going to go ahead, if you don't mind, Joey D, and I'm going to buy. Look, it didn't end up well for him, but swagger and the confidence to come in the way that he did. This Sam Bennett, the amateur who played in the Masters this week, yeah. Was cool. fucking fun. And I know he faded off in the end. I get that. The swag that he had coming out of it. Even you see where he put like the, he was packing the Zin and like he just was so comfortable. He was so confident that it, it was unbelievable. And it was so much fun to watch. The thing that makes me sick, which I guess would be a sell, I get that he's an amateur, but the fact that this kid played in the it's Masters. So and finished where he did and was that entertainment and brought that many viewers made it that much fun the fact that he didn't get paid is crazy man it is crazy you know it's gonna happen now he's gonna get nil deals he'll get sponsored he's gonna he's gonna get a boatload of sponsors now he'll make his money but he doesn't he just i don't think it goes to anybody it just he doesn't get a purse he just doesn't get well, yeah, because they seventy grand that should have gone to somebody. They always have X amount of amateurs in in the Masters, right? Is it the same amount every year? I don't know. Yeah, but I, they I, always I, have. I think it is, and then they win a trophy for highest amateur finish. I think they give you I a trophy mean, for highest. But I agree, Bobby. Like, 
to he should, not he should I mean, make money. These kids sure. earned the right to be playing. Obviously, they won whatever they had to win, qualifiers that they had to win to get it. For the kid not to be kidding, like you said, Mikey B, with NILs already happening and all that. No, let's say, know. let's say, let's say the impossible happened and this kid actually ended up winning. Are you to yeah. tell me that all he would got out of it was the trophy and the fucking $250 green jacket? Oh, crazy. That's it. Yeah, three and a half million. He's not going to get it. Like that's so outrageous. I think it's so. I think it's so fucked up. And look, there might be something a a part of it that I don't know. But I mean, it's it's you got to earn your tour card, Bob. That's well, well, yeah. That's 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 definitely what it is. But I'm saying to to play it's an exemption. It's it's like a one off. So you get to play in the tournament, but you're not you're not. It'd be like working for a company and then like being the highest. (laughs) <laughs> like salesman for like Jaguar, you know, if you're not working for Jaguar, if you, just, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, we're, I have no idea. We're, we're, no idea. <laughs> but we were going to let you run with it, but that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah. Land that plane though, Joey. Dude. Land that plane. I, I, don't, I was, I was trying to go somewhere and it, it kind of landed short. <laughs> I think, I think if you asked him though, he's the type of kid that like, obviously you, he, they interviewed him in the room with Rom at the end of the tournament. It was Rom, Scotty and him in the room at the end when the tournament had ended. So, I mean, they were pumping him up and I think he was saying all the right things. I think if you asked him, he would, he would probably say, I don't care about the money. I'm so glad that I was there. Folks, our next sponsor is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day, a product that I use and take every single day, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health, physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the Athletic Greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Do it with Athletic Greens. You can't go wrong. And uh, now we head on over to Joey Goldguts. Buy or sell? Uh, I'm going to buy, we mentioned it earlier, I'm going to buy the Masters app. Th- there's nothing else in the realm of golf that is as good as this thing. And it, and it's it just, it's. I can't understand why like the U.S. Open or the Open, or any of these other majors, why they don't do it. It's so good. You can watch the leaderboard. You can highlight the guys you have money on or that you're watching. It, it It's it's so well done, and it allows you to watch, like, wherever you are at any time, you can follow along. That app is undefeated. The problem is, is once the tournament's done, you just delete the app, and you wait until next year to re-download it. So, like, that's the problem. But, I mean, the app is unbelievable, you No. Know? Well, yeah, we talked about that. We talked about this last week. We, we talked we talked about this word for word last week. You we brought ate. it last week. We did. We talked about it last week. We I had mean, a you, whole, you didn't buy it technically, but I mean, you sold me on it last week. That's why I fucking downloaded it because I was listening to you last week. So I would say take, on, a, take a mulligan. Wait, take a mulligan have, on that buy and give me something else, Joe. Joey D, we have got to wake up over here now, man. I mean, come, come on, man. I'm trying here, Bob. I mean, I, I, I didn't know that we bought it last week. I didn't hear anybody buy it last Mike, week. You know what, Mike, you know what you said on Twitter? I looked at it in the morning. I said, what a jerk off. I said, what does he mean by that? Maybe? Somebody, I had the video of Joe betting on, on John Rahm to cry. And people were mentioning setup and how there's a different setup and good setup, but people were busting my balls about the wires yeah, under the TV. I thought it was appropriate. Well, no, I thought it was appropriate, but Mikey goes, somebody's like, you know, do you believe Bob with these wires under his TV? And he goes, no, I don't. Mikey responds to it. And he goes, I don't think it's as crazy as you think. It describes his personality. 
And then you look at the wires. I I sent it to kids kids to Bob's personality. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's what I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say disheveled. What does that mean? I I wouldn't say disheveled, but I would say I would say (laughs) I would say Bob has a great presentation, but underneath the presentation, there's a lot of chaos going on, and I think that's perfectly encapsulated (laughs) in the beautiful media setup he has in his living room. But then at the bottom, when you look, there's a little bit of chaos to it. I think. Wait, but but that's that's not a comp. That though, that though, oh, hundred percent, it is. You're saying that that's that's not a a shot. That's not. You're saying that that's not a shot. You're saying from the outside everything looks well put together, but if you very dig well, deeper, very well put together. No, there's that. just a little chaos behind <laughs> it. Is your life not chaotic, Bob? Is it not? Yeah, it is. Okay, there it is. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. But I That's wouldn't say I'm it's. Saying. I wouldn't say. But to, to, does that chaotic? Describe chaotic my... doesn't necessarily mean bad. It's just that you know you see something. And you see all the greatness, right? You see the, you know, the Bob does sports. You see, you see the brilliantly done show. I'm not like backpedaling on anything. I'm not backpedaling on it. You see all that, but then behind all that, Bob, Bob, you know, he's got to keep up with the schedule, which we know sometimes is difficult for Bob. Uh, he has to keep up with remembering things, which we all know his memory is not necessarily the greatest. So all I'm saying is, tough. by the way, the TV setup, I saw Joe in front of the TV. Looks fantastic. I didn't even notice the wires right, until that. this psycho put it on Twitter and circled it. I and I said, Twitter, you know man. what? That kind of works for moment. Bob because the presentation is great. But then there's a little something there that it's like, oh, you know what? That should be addressed, but probably won't. Be. <laughs> that's fine. I'll hey, tell you what was chaotic, Bob. I'll tell that you what is a compliment, man. I did that so it's definitely up. not an insult, Bob. I'll tell you that's what was to me like an insult. Bob. Oh, come on. You know what was chaotic, Bob? Watching Mikey V drip sweat on a being rollback soft. ad. Wait, oh. what? Oh. You know what was chaotic was Mikey V dripping sweat on a rollback yeah, ad. Let me the tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. I did it. I did an hour the on. The, I did an hour on the stairs. That is I did an hour though. on the stairs because this weekend was a rough weekend. Mm-hmm. I did not work out at all this weekend. So today I was like, you're not going to get to lift weights today. You don't deserve it. The only thing you're getting is like a torture session on the on the oh. stairs. So that's what I did. But that hat, like it absorbs so much of the sweat. It was literally dripping sweat off the brim. It was disgusting. It was, it was just, dis- even I was disgusted. I was like, this, this is, this is truly nasty looking, but you know what? Shout out Roback. Great job. Uh, Mikey, off Lincoln bio. Well, I don't, I don't know how you do. Like I I've told you before, I, I, I can't think of a harder, just worse, just mental torture workout than going on that Stairmaster oh, for an hour. I think the treadmills, the treadmill's tough, but the treadmill, you know, is one thing. You do an hour on that Stairmaster, that'll make you question a whole lot that you got going on. You know what I mean? Incline treadmill, those are tough too. High incline is tough. Something about that Stairmaster, though, man. I mean, just one thing after another. It's just the same thing. Something That's about tough. the fact like that the everyone cat. hates. Something about the fact that everyone hates the Stairmaster makes me love it. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I can give. Yeah. yeah, I can give you that. It's, I think that's fair enough. Now, I don't know why. um, Dave Thomas update. By the way, those biggie bags that he sent us, the Wendy I sent to, us. I have to open mine. I don't have room in my apartment for mine yet. Joe's apartment is like a FedEx, Mikey V. You got to see. He's got like a shipping and yeah, receiving but Joe, department. I mean, we need to you got to open the. You yeah. gotta open the I package, will open it. Though, I will Joey open it. Dave. I have Raina coming this. I, Bob, now Bob, you know Raina gets upset if it's not tidy. And I had to remove all the boxes because otherwise Raina would not be thrilled. The so what? Now that Raina's you gotta come, remove the what? The boxes. How did you get Raina for the 6 p.m. slot, by the way? She never comes that late. I tip her well. Oh, would you stop, <laughs> man? Would you stop, man? That's the most ridiculous. You know what? Thing. Plus, I'm giving her. I'm gonna give her like four cases of Corona, which she doesn't know yet. Her her husband likes Corona. I got all this Corona sitting around. I haven't drank any of it. It's, it's got to be put to good use. Shout out Corona. We love you, but I, I, somebody's got to drink it. Rainable. I tell you what, we got to do is open that fucking big. You got to open the package, Joey D. I'll open it, I'll open it when tomorrow. We're, we're fighting. We're scratching and clawing for this Wendy yeah. sponsorship. But man. the problem is, is I, here's my problem. I want to actually use the bag. It's so nice, but it because nice. of the Callaway thing, I can't. I can't use the bag. 
Nah, so maybe, nah. but the bag, but the bag is a nice, you, you put it in a nice spot in the house is a conversational piece. It's beautiful. You put it out it's on display. Yes, it's it's beautiful. It's nicer than a lot of Have people's you seen couches. How small my apartment is, well, it's going to be like, you walk in, the first thing you're going to see is a giant biggie bag. That's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> it really isn't. Now, I tell you Could what be I a would. centerpiece at someone's wedding. I tell you what I would do, Mikey V. If we got the gold card, I would put that in a plaque and I'd put it right behind me. Tell you when that. you keep that sucker right in your wallet. We ain't getting what, you get with the gold, what do you get with the gold card? Unlimited, Free Wendy's for life. Joey Unlimited Dave. Wendy's for Unlimited. life. That's a problem for me. That's a problem for me. Unlimited. <laughs> I would love me that thing, man. Me too, that, man. I really but you know what? We'll start. We'll st we don't need that. We don't need that, Wendy. We don't need that if you're listening. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, yeah, let's just mic me. I mean, maybe to it. No, no. We're, we want to put it out. Eventually, we would love it. But yeah. no. first things first. We want the biggie, biggie bag. We want that biggie bag. We do. We <laughs> You're going to go on Mikey V's apartment in three months. He's going to like have a holographic <laughs> image of Dave Thomas, a biggie bag, a gold card. Uh, I'll, I'll, have a framed, I'll have a framed Dave Thomas jersey signed by Dave <laughs> yeah, Thomas dude, I, in the cave. <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if I was starting a business and I had to you know, allocate certain dollars where we're going to put it, I whatever Mikey's price was, I would I would have him sign a board, whatever it takes, because that you man that? is going to run that? through a wall oh, for whatever okay. friends. Now, with that being said, though, and I keep saying that we're going to do it and we keep forgetting to do it. We absolutely have to do the KFC sandwich review. Oh, the and double down. The double down, man. Got, <laughs> it's just amazing to me that this franchise can't figure it out, man. I mean, I'm going to pan problem. that sandwich, man. No, there's no way you would eat that <laughs> thing, Joey D, just on a whim. I, I, I did one years and years and years ago when they came out. And and it was it was I mean I still remember I was in a coma by the time I finished it. You know what the thing about that sandwich were your is, hands is that all greasy. A little bit. The thing about that sandwich I is held I, with a napkin. I just feel like it's so insulting to America that sandwich. I really do because like people already think of us as like the slovenly like you know <laughs> obese country, and for us to just go ahead and flaunt a release of a double fried chicken bun sandwich like that, it's like. Yeah, you're right. And you know what? Fuck you on top of it. Like, it's just, it's just too much. It's unnecessary. I, I just, I mean, listen, Bob, you want me to eat the sandwich? I'll eat it in under, <laughs> I'll eat it in under a minute. Probably I'll finish. It. Whoa. Yeah, that's nothing. That's, that's going to be a high. Kilo. I consumed a hundred dollars of Wendy's inside of an episode, Joe. It's dollars worth. One of my favorite things is just when we just send Mikey V food to review, like regardless of what it is, any new like fast food items, you just send oh, it to not have an episode. We don't tell them anything, and there's just like kebabs and pizza <laughs> and like fucking shish kebab and all sorts of shit. It's one of my favorite things. And one day, I that one day I must have ate like six spicy chicken sandwiches. Yeah, time. he ate a lot. Yeah, I, I will tell you, I, I do want to really start, and I've, I've really tried to stick to that recently, and I, I told myself that I'll never do it again, is doing ads for something that you actually don't really like believe in or want to do it for, I, 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 that's my new thing just to, to be done with. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I've had an ad out there now before. You, by the way, yeah, but not recently, anything. Bobby now. Boy, uh, now, I, half a I, million I, on Instagram. Thank you, John. Yes, yes. Oh, that, that's yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, boys. That's thank you, boys. a real nice uh, touch. Thank, thank, thank you, That's Joey. a big Bob number. Really, that's you, you can pick and choose now who you want to work, work with, Bob. You, you're big enough at this point. I agree with that, though, Bob. I, I, I do agree with that. There comes a point where, like, crazy for yes, Joe? <laughs> I can't. I just he, wanted, he does, just, for the listeners who aren't watching on YouTube, Joe just raised his hand like my son would in uh, pre-K class. This guy Go ahead, Joe. I just want to say, I want whole episode. I know I kind of I, I kind of I, I didn't mean to go at Bob there. I will say this: Bob is, to his credit, one of the best at doing ads. Oh, he's a pitch man in the he's, game. He's a pitch man There's because no he'll doubt. go into like the mirror or he'll do like one takes, and it's so dumb, but it's so fucking funny, and like it just works. It's like a one take wonder. Like he yeah. is one of the goats. He is that. a one take wonder. He is a one take. It's unbelievable. It, uh, I, I will give credit where credit is due. I will if hope. I was if I was to open a like. A foreign luxury car lot where I was going to sell like Lamborghinis, Bob would be head of my sales. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's crazy. He a hundred percent would be, and I could just picture him. Bobby Bugatti, now. yeah, Bobby <laughs> Bugatti. That's great. I love that, Bobby Bugatti. 
And I just I could see him pitching it to a, to a family now. It would just be it would just be unbelievable. It would just yeah. Be, imagine oh. imagine me pitching like a Bugatti to a family of six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, well, I'll tell you what. If you don't want to, but you can't fit the kids with you, you just leave them at home. It's not a problem. You just leave them by yourself. <laughs> alone time. That's fine. It'll work out one way or another. <laughs> Put them on a toe on a toe sheet on the back there. <laughs> um, that was another thing that I do want to say. Mikey messaged me yesterday, and he's so right about it. Is um, uh, you know, Joe, with there's been times where we know like where it's time where we haven't seen Mikey V in a long enough time to where like we know that it's time to make trip time to make a trip east. It's time to whether it's a Yankee game. You know. Uh, June, but that event is not confirmed from the call that I got today. So we just need something. Oh, I thought the yeah. June Audi Club whole thing was looking very promising. Oh, June for the Audi Club would be nice. I think it's time to go see Yankees Red Sox. We'll be, we got to figure something out. We got to get Red something. I think this year. Let's let's watch a game where they play somebody who's actually half decent. And then another thing. I mean, look, Mikey's been busting my balls for it, and he continue, and he has a right to because you know what. The audio coming from me, and I for people wondering why I don't have a mic, I do have a mic. I have a mic plugged in here. The audio is really, really bad. The 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 studio is coming at the end of the month. They're coming to set up the studio. Everything's everything's been set up. But what Mikey does, and it, it's such a it, there's no other way. Mikey does it all the time. Where I texted <laughs> you guys in the group chat, and I said, you know, studio's getting set up end of the month. Like here we go, boys. Mikey responds, LOL. Just LOL. And there's no other way to say fuck you to somebody in 2023 than just doing LOL. And he does that a lot. He does it a lot. Oh, he does. My he does. Oh. Joe, 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 does he not do the LOL a lot? And it He knows it'll get works. a rise out of you, Bob, and it does. It works. It works. Dude, I was thinking was... LOL guy. Now, you're a great texter, so I'm not – I'm not bashing you, but with the LOL, it comes off as condescending because he doesn't actually think that I'm going to get the studio done. So he knew by the LOL <laughs> that he's throwing a shot. You may get the studio. Know, you may does, very well get the studio done. I what he does do is when you actually catch him on it, then he'll respond, I was just tucking Dominic into bed. I mean, I was. <laughs> yeah, oh, I was. I was oh, just fair, cutting carrots fair. for Dominic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I am always doing, I'm always doing, I'm always doing, I'm always doing stuff for my kids, Joe. <laughs> it's always father, father of the century. He's got Dom in one hand and he's typing LOL. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's happened. That's happened. Do you agree with him, Mikey? Do you know the, the, the LOL thing? Like, do you see why the LOL thing would get under my skin? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I suppose. It, I, it, I, I think you're. I think you're. Lo you're. You're looking into it a lot, though. I mean, it's not. It's not. That Bob, by the way, the sounds of it, this studio is going to be epic. Oh, it's going to be something else. That's yeah, a, that's a big write-off. That's a big write-off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, he's not. He's not wrong. I mean, I'm about to get like a new chair and a new desk because this is my setup. Is quite frankly, it's 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 not acceptable at this point. And. If you could write it off, you write it off because but this is my back hurts. This is not right. I think you definitely come out the best, though, Mikey V. I, something about the desktop, man. The desktops get slept on to where yeah, desktop. desktops I are still great. I my new computer, dude. Dude, I'm so pissed. I thought you already I bought the computer. I did. I forgot he, the he, password. He forgot to lock the in. password. He's locked out of his new computer. He's locked out completely. This has been a whole thing. We had to deal with it on the Sportsman podcast for two weeks now. Are the you? First oh, week, no, but I, the first week it was doing an update. He couldn't get the update to run. The second week he forgot the fucking password already. And who, what kind of a sociopath makes the password something that they haven't used before? I understand security. I think concerns. it's the computer's fault. I don't know. I, it's I the never computer's did. fault. It's the computer's hey, fault. I don't ever change my passwords. I only have like one or two That's i know computer, man. i know what both of your passwords stuff. could be well he knows one of them he knows bob that's as sick as he is he knows probably he knows <laughs> my screen he knows yeah, my Bob, screen bob's, an, bob's an uh, evil motherfucker bob can unlock ways, my man. screen he really is with, with Joe, the code i'm gonna so yeah i could definitely un unlock your screen he's texting you the password right now he's a sick fuck so oh. anyways i had a thing for the geek squad to go in this weekend on friday they were going to help eradicate the password problem and then download all the data from my old MacBook to my new one. But there was an active shooter across the street when I went by and, oh, it's close. Yeah, now, now, Bob, you, yes, that's, that's, well, it's a, it's a variation. Of, of, of <laughs> did, you, did you try, did you try that one? I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
know this shit. <laughs> Fair enough. Couldn't you see Katsi? Like, if I had to guess, if there's anybody's past, bend it like feel... Katsi, 1987. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it, Joe? No, it's not. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't you just see Katsi's like passwords being the most simple thing, like? Cutsy 2023. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? My dad said on my old pass, my old password for my original MacBook, and it's Joseph Demar 1986. I'm like, yeah, that's like, what are we doing yeah. here? I don't know. If you could rattle off two more possible passwords that Cutsy could have on his laptop, oh, you can have a deal <laughs> with this. <laughs> Take what your time. Was, by what was what was the theme, Joe? It had to be. Well, no, ex- let's don't even do the theme. But just, just like, like the most ridiculous. basic, the most basic Cutsy passwords like today yeah. 2020 i could like, see like i could see like like canadian pride one two three <laughs> yeah, yeah i could yeah. see like um like hockey lover but yeah, lover lover yeah, lover yeah, spelled yeah. like l-u-v-e-r <laughs> instead of the right <laughs> hockey lover you know what my original <laughs> hotmail account was bob what? you remember i told you this it was puck stopper 86 at hot there it is at, did oh, you try puck stopper 86 no, it's not. It's confirmed not possible. Well, you never know. I never heard of that happening. And the fact that he had to call the entire <laughs> Geek Squad. <laughs> I set up for the best buy, and like, I had to go to the Geek Squad called, and set it up. He called the Geek Squad. They came in a van to come figure out his No, password. I went to Best Buy to bring it in, and there was an active shooter. <laughs> Across the street, the whole clo- the whole store was closed. I couldn't go in. Well, my hopefully, home. hopefully, I mean, let's not let's not uh, this blame is in Bob's old neighborhood. He's now, still there. Joe, Joe still I there. thought still the, there. Isn't this an still Apple going product? around. It's I got an Apple the ring. Product, yeah, I got the ring. I got the the ring app. Does the community features? It's oh, terrific. That is, let me. No, that's terrific. You would like that. I, I was in, thinking of starting like a Twitter account just to do ring neighborhood alerts because the some best. of them are so fucking hysterical did you just hear that ring? gunshots Yo, oh no wait Joe, it was firecrack you know those ring cams that like fox say, loose in I my th- yard i thought it was this like crazy elaborate setup for the ring cam it's, it's it is so easy and there's so much fun my place looks like fort knox i got a camera all around the perimeter it's so much we lost joey d we have lost joey d he's uh, back the dog. he's got he's got the dog he um it, I, I'm telling you right now, it is so much damn fun. It I is. can't stop. It is. It's great. And 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 Joe, if it's an Apple product, why are we not bringing this to the Genius Bar? And what are you feeding that dog? This is like a little bone thing I got for him. It looks like a donut. It does. It looks like a, you know what it looks like, Bob? It looks like a churro. <laughs> it looks like a churro. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It looks so much like that dog. He's a Bowser. 100%. Yeah, so much like. That. By the way, Joe, why did Joe? Why didn't you go to the Genius Bar if it's an Apple? I product? bought it at Best Buy because it was like. There's your first dollars. problem. There's your first no, it problem. Two hundred dollars off. So what, Joe? And it's a write off. Might be. I went to Apple, and the guy at Apple was like, literally. He told me he's like, you're better off going to Best Buy and buying it there because it's on sale. Yeah, but now you're out of Apple's hands. Once you're out of Apple's hands, now you got to worry about these non-Apple people with Apple products. Apple I don't like that. Worry about that dongly thing that they they're making me buy. They're already the dongle me. dongle my balls. Put it on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Put it on a t-shirt. Oh. Good reception on that line. All right, Very fellas. I, I think. I think it's time we head on over to our top five, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today's top five, we, we went back and forth about it a little bit on how we're going to work it. Today's top five is going to be top five omelet toppings. Now, we all agreed that cheese would have been one, so we mutually agreed that we are not going to do cheese because we all know cheese would be number one. Mikey mentioned, which is very fair, by the way, do we do like Western omelet and um, Spanish omelet and stuff? Yeah. I think that adds too much, and I don't think it's fair to take it for the graphic. I almost just think omelet toppings, piece by piece, individual. Yep. Um, Mikey, do you see any issue with that? And then we'll have the you only start thing us I'd off. like to I'd like to I'd like to make a motion on the floor, and if someone could second it, um, and then we'd have a majority vote. I would like to play pepper and onion together as opposed to separate. I think pepper and onion should be able to go together. That's just my opinion. I don't know about Okay, that. it's a double no, then it's done. No yeah, problem. The, the, okay, board, no problem. The, the board decline. I can't no problem. Uh, That's <laughs> fine. That's now, fine. I will say, I don't get really peppers in my omelet without getting onions in my omelet. So I see no, where you're No, you're fucking going. sure right you don't. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. That's okay. fine. Okay. Mikey, why don't you go ahead and start us off? I'm fucking finished now. 
Okay. By the way, I'll go. Dominated that top five last week. Yeah, yeah I can't believe that. Tell you what, though, a lot of people Mike came TV. to the defense of Arnold Palmer. A lot of well, people, of course. Came. But Mikey, the thing that they don't that I we missed on Bubba Watson, it was one miss. But but by you the know way, nothing Bubba. about Arnold Palmer. I, do. I know saw. a lot about Arnold. No, about you don't Arnold know Palmer. it. You, yes, I do. You <laughs> have you yes, ever I gone do. in the archives and watched him play? <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. He was a great player. Great, great swing. Maybe one tournament that he won. He won. Uh, he won. Um, I tell you, he wore. He, uh, <laughs> he won the. He won the open. You know, yeah, yeah. sixty-seven. Oh, yeah. You don't remember that. <laughs> you were a little no, young. I wasn't alive. Uh, you were a little young for that. Okay. <laughs> All right, number five. I, I, okay, so I'm going with a vegetable at number five because I think a vegetable has to be played um, at some point. Spinach. Spinach is, is an item that I, I, I will throw in pretty much any omelet. It was between spinach and broccoli, but spinach is a lot more forgiving on the stomach, I feel like, at the end yeah. of the day. So I usually typically give the nod to spinach at five. Four, I'm going to go mushrooms. And I've had omelets with portobello mushrooms in them. And if anyone knows mushrooms, portobello mushrooms like biting into like a like a steak almost if they're yeah, done they're, correctly. They're very, they're, very meaty. Yeah, they're very good. Give me mushrooms. Doesn't necessarily have to be portobello, just mushrooms are four. Three, since I can't do peppers and onions, I'll go onions over peppers because I think onion, the flavor really works well with cheese and and a meat and the and the eggs on a piece of toast. Can't miss on that. Onions at three. Now we're going back to back meats for two and one. We're going back to back meats. Two bacon, chopped up bacon in an omelet. Really, really nice. Really well played. Um, I like like a bacon and Swiss or bacon and cheddar is really nice. And then number one has to be ham. I think ham is like the number one meat for for the omelet. Um, you know, ham and cheese omelet, ham diced onion mushroom. Uh, you know, uh, pepper jack. And again, the toast really ties it all together. But that's it. Ham one, bacon two, onions three, mushrooms four, spinach five. Uh, Joey, did you have any issue with that list? No, I think it's pretty solid. What I do respect is he went. He didn't go all protein. He went vegetables in there. It's easy to kind of get carried away with the proteins, but I think having a couple of vegetables is that that's that's a heady play. I have no there, issue. There's one that I thought we all would have, and I guess as it turns out, I'm going to take some heat for this. Um, there's one that I got in there that that I think is a just. Meat? Not a meat. Okay. Not a meat. Um, why were you thinking uh, sausage? Because because sausage. No, I, 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 I I was going back and forth on sausage, and then I'll tell you another meat that I always get in omelets a lot is chicken. I I get grill. I get protein really? omelets a lot. Protein omelets it's are a like big a thing, big thing. Yeah. Protein omelet, and they do like a feta cheese, chicken, spinach, feta and like cheese is phenomenal. And it's delicious. It's it's delicious in an egg white omelet, but. Chicken, if you're talking regular traditional omelet, I don't think chicken can crack no. the list. And I and Bob, I agree with you. Sausage, I was teetering on. It can't trump bacon or ham. So right. that's where. I'm yeah. Um. Another thing that I'm gonna throw in there that really is not bad. It's health. It's a healthier option for you. It's really not bad. And I I don't have it in mind. Turkey bacon is no joke. Turkey bacon. Too, to where yeah, I have no issue. Turkey bacon. Really? They, very salty though. Turkey bacon tends to be a little salty. Okay, um, I'm gonna dive in. I I have some similar as you, Mikey V, but but my ringer is the one that I think I might take shit for. But I I love it. Um, number five, I got spinach as well. So give me oh, spinach. Um, in the five hole, that is my number one. Um, uh, one of my number, the top top vegetables to go in the omelet. It's almost a guarantee for me. Um, and I actually do my omelets egg whites. So I'm just gonna throw that out there as well. I'm an egg white type guy. Um, mm -hmm. but four is uh four. I got ham. Give me ham at four, I think is a no-brainer. Western omelet, that's the base of the Western omelet. Um, three, give me peppers. Mikey V, I didn't have onions in there. It'll probably be my honorable mention. Um, I'm taking the pepper over the onions Can every pepper? single time. Don't matter. I'll, I'll take them any way I can. I would probably prefer I'd rather bell do a red or a green bell pepper. I don't, I, to be honest with you, Joe, I don't mind. If I gun to my head, I would say red. But I don't mind the green pepper at all, really, to be honest. Right. Um, so I got peppers at three. Number two, this is my ringer. Um, and I might take shit for it, but but give me avocado at two. I, I knew I it think. was going to be avocado, yeah. Avocado. I figured it they, was going to be avocado. When they slice those things on top of the omelet, I sent you a picture of the omelet I had the other day. It looked Beatles. like a good omelet, yeah. I'm just not an avocado guy, but yeah, the, it looked good. Yeah, I think the avocado's amazing on there. So I got avocado at two. 
And then I got bacon at one. I think bacon at one is an absolute no brainer. Um, and now uh, I'm interested to see uh, Joey Day. What's Joey Day got for us? Um, number five, I'm going to go with a little toss up. Uh, I'm going to go smoked salmon at number five. I, I do like smoked salmon. In, why are we laughing? No, no, no. Why am I not allowed to laugh on this show? Uh, I want to know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> Good for you, Mikey, because you're right. I think you're right. Well, I just, the way you say it is funny to me because I find you funny, Joe. Not like a clown, like you're here to amuse me, but All right, I number, thought that number was Number five funny. is the smoked salmon play, okay? That's think... a nod to Canada, is it not? Nova Scotia it is, salmon? It is, yes. All right, All right okay. And number four, I'm going to go jalapenos. I love <laughs> yeah. a little bit of... <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> A Joe, Joe, these are bold plays, but I tell you what, if it's Joe's favorite, that's fair. That's you fair. Like jalapenos in your I have never, I've been going out to breakfast for you with you for a long time, and never <laughs> once have I ever seen you put jalapenos. Have you ever in... seen me order and I, I, I like yeah, go to an a... omelet bar? Show up with a, an omelet bar, like where you get to make your own omelet. Have you ever done that? Oh. Uh... I don't remember. Okay, no fair. It's it's wild. It's wild. So you're saying when you guys sit down at a Factors um, Deli on NFL never. Sunday, normally his it's like his a go-to pre- isn't the salmon jalapeno. <laughs> <omelet>. <laughs> Yo, this yo, is, I love you, This bro. is Come why on. we play Come though, on, Joey Joe. D. Let's clap it up for Joey D here this afternoon, man. You bro, sometimes me. your top fives are so good that this you know this is, is going to resonate with the audience. You know this. That. is great. This is going to resonate, Joe. People are going to love it. Go. Keep going. I Salmon like little... five, jalapenos four. Go. Number three, I've got avocado, okay? Ah. Slice sand avocado on top of it. Number two, right. I'm going with ham because yeah. I think that ham is very versatile. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a normal ham guy. Like if I were to order a sandwich, I'm not ordering a ham sandwich or even ordering ham like cold cuts. But with the omelet, I think it it, it changes the whole play. And ham is very versatile in an omelet. It goes with everything. I agree. And then number one, I have bacon because I think yeah. bacon is great. Bacon is just I, I think if you could only like pick so many foods in the world, like bacon has to be up there. It is the most versatile. Bacon may be a top five food overall. You can could do be. so could much. Be argued with for. It. Have you ever had candied bacon? Oh, delicious! Sure have. Oh, how about how about at the steak? How about at the steak? How about at the steakhouse? Is the thick the slab best, cut bacon? Man, the I mean, best. you could do so much. We went to the steakhouses, Bob. Remember, we had the new ski, the thick bacon where. It's unbelievable. Or you could do. I mean, it's just so good. I think. Where did bacon, we? Where did we get that, Joey? Day was Mastro's. that Mastro's? Mastro's. They have that thick cut bacon that Mikey V's talking about, and it's so fucking good. They almost they have that at uh, Frankie and John. Like a maple. I don't know if we had it that night, but they we they sh- definitely oh, have it. Oh no, we sure did. Oh, okay, sure did. I guess I'm getting body bagged for the top. Of, I didn't think jalapeno. I think smoked salmon is like kind of like not everybody does it, but like. Bob, I thought you'd appreciate it. You're a big smoked salmon guy. I am, but not in my omelets. <laughs> I'm just being honest. What? I'm just being I didn't honest. Say like the funniest part. The funniest I know, it's, part. it's bear the down. Part. Bear down. Oh, it's bear down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the funniest part. I literally is... got two words out. I'm like, you know, when I like my omelet with smokes, and before I even say the salmon part, he's like, <laughs> well, for Bob to double down on it and to say that he's gotten to breakfast with you and never seen you order a jalapeno. Well, that's, but that's omelet. because we've never ever gone to like a customizable omelet. First of all, I will say <laughs> I don't order omelets very often to begin with. And if okay. I do order an omelet, like at Factors, it's already they have like pre-made Western omelets. So I'll just say, give me a Western omelet. But I have asked for jalapenos on the side for different dishes before because I love jalapenos. You know what Joey D likes for breakfast? He likes like a um, eggs Benedict. He'll do oh, like yeah. a, he'll do breakfast quesadillas at um, oh yeah that's yeah like huevos rancheros. He loves huevos rancheros or mm. breakfast burritos. I love like those kind of like Mexican. Yeah, I almost bore myself when I go out to breakfast and lunch for that matter. If I'm going out to lunch or breakfast, there's a, there's a 95% chance I'm ordering an omelet. 
Like literally, ninety five percent chance. You know what? I never ordered. I, I I can't remember the last time I sat down for breakfast and ordered pancakes. I don't oh, think I, I ever. So there. I know. I, so never, I don't think I ever have. I you there's know, something don't... about feeling so guilty after you eat pancakes. Like it's you just know. like you're eating. You know, it's just a very guilt. Res uh, ordered them in Jupiter. Bob. Remember, you ordered that big. He black sure black did. You, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Blueberry was, pancakes are fun. And then he awesome. ordered biscuits on the side. Oh, that's, yeah, man. That's a That's, so that's geez, that might have never been done before. Yeah, this is the same, same guy. The, side of biscuits. the same guy that I gotta stock my fridge with Fiji water. So <laughs> when he comes, is, that's the same guy. That's crazy. One but in a you, million. You know what's not a bad play? Because I'm with you, Mikey. I'm an omelet guy, but a play that I want to start making more on breakfast, and I vow to do so is just a side of a pancake, just one pancake as a side. So you get, you get yeah. that taste for the, you know what I mean? Well, just, you could get, you could go and just order the short stack and that's usually just two typically. Yeah. Yes, Joe. That's great. Joe's got his hand up. Yeah. I have a really, really good question. If you had like breakfast, like you're having eggs and eggs and bacon or whatever. What kind of egg? It, I, I mean, what, I don't know. It's an important I like question. Sunny side up. I don't so know. Side up, I'm going to need some heavy toast artillery. That's there on exactly the side what to I was going to say. Yeah. Do you do the toast or the pancake play? Because sometimes these places gave toast or pancake. I, oh, they do. I'm going toast. Toast. Yeah, personally, I need toast. I'm a toast guy and I'm a rye toast yolk? guy. Yes, yes, yes. Bob, are you a pancake or a toast dude? Um, I would go toast. I'd be a little alarmed if they were offering up a pancake that easily. I'd rather have to really like pay for the side for it. I don't know. Well, just... I hope I think they give the option of like toast or pancake. I just don't want to mop up egg yolk with a pancake. Yeah. yeah. For some reason with bread, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But for some reason, I feel like I would have a, I would have a legitimate problem mopping up egg yolk with pancakes. I've got a foolproof way of eating sunny side up eggs. Now, Mikey B, what you do is you you cut around the circumference of the yolk so it's just the little the little round cylindrical like yolk left and then you just scoop that out and you just pop it in your mouth and there's no yolk on your plate yeah but i like that i don't mind piercing piercing the amniotic sac of the egg <laughs> and and and, get, and getting it on the toast it doesn't bother me that doesn't bother me i'm saying but using a pancake to me seems yeah, like that's yeah, yeah. that's, that's the, off limits that's I'm that's on the same, different I'm on the same page. all right so if we got to do honorable mention bob for the omelets i would like to if we could do instead of doing an item can we say what cheese we would get yes. what's our go to cheese sure. instead of honorable yeah, mention? Sure. well honorable. let's just throw it throw a quick honorable mention in just for the graphic and give me um give me onions okay I, now I'll, you go. I'll go oppo and i'll go pepper because i didn't go pepper i, so I went on joey so I'll, go oppo. I'll go scallions <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> i love it they're perfect. different than onions Bob. absolutely 100 percent, 100 percent. and uh cheese i would go i see i like swiss but I think like gun to my head every day omelet order, it'd have to be cheddar. So I'm gonna go cheddar cheese with the omelet. Cheddar is the heady play, yeah. What a what an episode out of Joey D today, man. I mean, this five just, five star stuff. He's just been firing today. Raina's here. Okay, we well, you gotta oh. go get Raina. You gotta go get All right. So what can... cheese, Joe? Quick. She wrote, we are here. Okay. <laughs> right. yeah, go uh, ahead, Joe. Give me cheddar. Give me cheddar. <laughs> cheddar. All right, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Swiss. Uh, Joey D's going to go get Raina. Fellas, uh, does it get any better than the no. Brotherly Dump Show? Suiting up here with you boys week after week. It really is special. It really is fun. We Folks, like, here. comment, subscribe on that YouTube. Keep the movement going. We are coming. New studio coming May 1st. LOL. We'll see you next time. That's another <laughs> edition. That's really <laughs>